It has been several hours since President Duterte demanded from the Communist Party of the Philippines an explanation on Wednesday's attack on militia forces in Davao del Norte. It remains unclear whether he got one. I don't have any updates on, on, the, on what happened since last night. There is a very brief window of opportunity. Talking to soldiers in Quezon, Mr. Duterte threatened to end the unilateral ceasefire with rebels. He was annoyed at the death of a militiaman in the attack blamed on New People's Army rebels. We can understand that he was upset, no? The government panel holding peace negotiations with the rebels initiated the ceasefire early this week as a confidence-building measure. The formal peace talks are scheduled to resume next month after these were stalled for almost half a decade. Speaking to CNN Philippines, Luis Alandoni of the National Democratic Front says it could take time before they can reciprocate government's action. They are checking if the... Uh Declaration of ceasefire by President Duterte is being implemented properly. An NPA official earlier said their forces are on active defense mode, meaning they won't initiate attacks against government forces. Bayan Muna Party List Representative Carlos Zarate says it could be possible the order hasn't trickled down since there are rebel units in remote communities. Chances are, Zarate says, NPA rebels were not even behind the attack due to the presence of other armed groups in the area. The peace process now is very crucial. Uh, we cannot uh, just... Uh, dismiss the possibility that there are really groups and people who wants to sabotage. You know? The NDF says it is investigating the Davao del Norte incident. As both panels remain optimistic, peace talks will go on as scheduled. It's very important that we stay the course. The president will still have the last say if the talks should continue. David Santos, CNN Philippines.